Monaco is best known for a car race and it's hard to visit the Principality without pondering whether your own heartfelt environmentalism is just lead-free, low-emission envy. There's a lot of dosh clinging to this rocky tax-free outcrop, which is perhaps why what's being touted as the future of money, near-field communication, has been quick to find a foothold here, including a conference designed to explore the technology's future. And this is the sort of thing it does. Wave your phone very near to a smart poster and the chip behind broadcasts or narrowcasts data to a reader in your mobile. The data, in effect, tells your phone to charge the cost of a footy ticket to your bill. You will receive a message enabling the phone itself to emit a code that unlocks the turnstile on Saturday afternoon and gets you into the match. The system can also be equipped with biometrics to help kick hooliganism into touch. So what we experience, especially in the soccer environment, that security is an upcoming issue. They're watching out, organizers are watching out for people who are not allowed to enter the stadium. And for this, a combination of biometrics is one approach. Near-field communication doesn't just make money look sluggish, but dumb as well. Phones can read data off chips or radio tags, but the phone itself can also emit data. So, for instance, you can pay for a hotel room online and then the hotel can actually SMS you the key. In addition to the key itself, the guest will then get a welcome receipt specifying the room he's staying at. He will also typically get the GPS coordinates to the hotel in question and so forth. But the key thing is when the guest is then coming to hotel, he can totally bypass the reception desk, go straight to his room and the telephone itself will open the door by just presenting the telephone in front of the card reader. Another security application from Austria's University of Applied Sciences is anti-theft skis. Skis are a pricey piece of kit that frequently walk off when holidaymakers prop them up outside a cafe. But slap a tag onto your boots and a reader onto your skis and you can make sure that only your boots and your skis end up together on the piste. If someone tries to slalom off with your gear, then the hills come alive to the sound of this. <coughs> Near-field communication is in that terrible tight squeeze common to technologies that are desperate to catch on. The wonderful applications being dreamt up are not going to take off until enough people have NFC-enabled phones. The problem is that the manufacturers are not going to put NFC in their phones until they're thoroughly convinced there are enough applications out there to make it worthwhile. The people pushing the technology are convinced NFC will go the same way as Bluetooth and it will be hard to find a phone without it. Uh, all the handset, major handset manufacturers are members of the NFC forum and they are all actively involved in working on the specifications, following the developments and are uh, in most cases working on prototypes now and uh, we would expect them to be rolling out handsets within sometime in 2009, perhaps 2010 at the latest, but probably 2009. So far, so near. In fact, with the internet going mobile, it's difficult to see how NFC won't catch on. In this smart notice board from Lancaster University, the tags behind it emit URLs, which can ingeniously trigger phones to download information or media about tourist hotspots. And the University of Rome has developed a virtual shopping basket for people to order household staples on their mobile. But more excitingly, the same technology could also link you in to media and information too voluminous or specific, like individual product history, to put on the packet. You can put indirect information, which means you can write um, a URL, a link to you know, some place on a network, that you can access. So the idea is by simply touching the object, you can open a connection to a site and have you know, this information displayed on your phone. The big tech talk these days is of a LinkedIn world of ubiquitous computing. There's little doubt that the Internet of Things 
would be greatly enhanced by near-field communication. The future, it seems, could be nearer than we think.